of course, it involves a great Canadian, uh, Paul Rose, and that's Hyena Road. Absolutely. Yeah, yep. the story of Canadian forces in <clears throat> Afghanistan. Uh, can you give us a bit of background here? One of the best movies of the year, flat yeah. out. Wow. Uh, and, and I will not be dismissive and, and say it's the best Canadian movie of the year because it doesn't need that distinction. This is one of the best movies I've seen this year, in the last couple of years, actually. Because? Because it's, it's, it's told earnestly. It's, it's, a, it's a war movie that doesn't fall back on the cliches of war movie. It's a, war movies. It tells a story of modern warfare in which m women are in p positions of command. And, and it, it's a very high-tech uh, uh, fighting force fighting against a, a, a fighting force that's, that they refer to as being in flip-flops and pajamas mm. and, and, and are holding their own. It's, it's, a, it, it's, it's, it's a Canadian story completely. The, the characters behave as Canadians do, uh, and, and that's very distinct when you see it, but it isn't shoved down your throat. Mm. It's not, you know, we're Canadians, we do that. <clears throat> there's Canadian flags on patches, there's Canadian flags on, on you know, buildings, <clears throat> but there's not, it's, it's not, it, it, this, this is just a terrific, earnest movie, and it tells an important story about what, because a lot of people, a lot of mm -hmm. the, the average citizens in Canada don't really, didn't really follow what was going yeah. on in this campaign. Yeah, so this movie shows you a little bit about what was actually happening over there. All right, we do have to uh, let it go at that because... We're out of time, but thank you for that. You make me want to see the movie, so go, I'll go try and go see it this go weekend. Go see it. It's terrific. Thanks very much. Anytime.